Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Neo on the Series JG. So, it's just about to get real because I'm pretty sure we're about to face the boss of this level. Um, at some point, we got to spend our ninja skills. Oh, I actually have a samurai skill point. I'm, okay. At some point, we got to spend our ninja skills. Um, if I respec, these might be a useful part of getting us towards. Um, a new build, possibly with better throwing weapons. Um, fire shuriken. I'm really close to being able to afford fire, like the maximum level of fire shuriken right now. Problem is, in order to actually change my jutsu that are equipped. I would actually need to hit a shrine, so there's no point in worrying about that right now. I don't remember what happens when you go into a cinema if your uh, buffs are still applied. So... I do not remember. So let's apply our buffs. And hope that they don't disappear when we come back from the cinema. Bear in mind, we got one sloth tal talisman and a bunch of knockdowns. And hope for the best. Hey, I'm a guy. You, whoa, what the hell are you? You don't appear to be feeling that well. But yeah, there was a Date guy whose whole gimmick was centipede, and this would appear to be him. Oh, shite. Fuck. This is slowdown's not gonna last forever. I, no, man, I evaded that shit. I hate you, game. I didn't think I would be able to knock him down, but... Ah, shit. Apparently you can't stay in close and get more than one combo off. Well, you know, okay. I was hoping that we could maybe beat him on the first pass. That would have been kind of neat. But it was always kind of a long shot. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't know what else to do with my ninja point. I could put them in and... and uh, if I don't want to suddenly get kunai, or now suddenly I'm like into the idea of having the exploding, expl exploding, exploding shuriken. Two of this would leave me four. And three. So I could get level two of the fire shuriken. I kind of like that idea, especially because I got a shuriken booster. Otherwise, uh, I could put it into increasing damage of matlock. You know what? Hand cannon against that guy might not be the worst idea ever. Although you don't get a lot of time to line that stuff up. You could get better against poison, which I would think would be useful against the centipede, but he wasn't really going poison. He was just kind of going raw damage. I can always respec later. Um, and I like the idea of using fire. Um... Shuriken. So let's do this. Mainly, I just want to get the jutsu cost down. Now I can use something to get my. I can use summoner's candles until I'm out of them, basically. Not so much about getting back the Amarita as starting the fight with my Guardian Spirit bonuses. Uh, and let's change our Jutsu up. I don't want 
to summon a visitor. I want to do jutsu. So... Fire shuriken is going to cost me at least four points. So I need to get rid of something that costs... that. I could get rid of the most expensive of the toxic ground fires. But I get rid of poison galnut. I don't know that I'm using toxic ground fire against this guy, but what I'm trying to get at here is um, oh, hold on. Five and four. If I got rid of galnut broth, I could get I could ready fire shuriken because I can use the slot that it used to be in. Because Galnot Broth is gone. Oh, it already did it. Okay. Is there any way I can cram in another one? Because to get two more, I'd need five. And uh, to do that, I'd have to get rid of... I want to get rid of quick change scrolls. I think I might just have to stick with uh, stick with what I got now. So now I can go in with a few things, get the sloth talisman going, and then just start throwing shit at it from from range. It has ranged attacks, but. What else can I do? Meanwhile, okay, well, what's the fastest way to get to where I gotta go? I just gotta run past these guys. I think that's really it. And I'm going in without having preset my stuff. So that was stupid. Did not mean to do that. Away. That was probably not worth the time it took. And I no longer have Galnut Broth to equip, so that's one less thing to equip. Fuck that up, bad. Okay, stop blithering around now with the uh... fuck. With fuck. Stop blithering around with the, uh... I was going to say stop blithering around with the thing that brings you back from the dead, but then I died before I really could get it out. Once again, I'm going to waste a summoner's candle just to get my, um... Just to start off with, uh... All of my stuff. But I guess what I need to do if I'm just going to make a mad dash for it is apply all my buffs before I even make the mad dash. And have the sloth talisman ready to go. What the fuck, game? That was bullshit.
I was. I come on, game. Even when I'm evading, it's like you're, you have to evade ten times. Apparently, he doesn't give a crap about that attack. Oh, all right, I'm good. I think I did better against him the first time when I wasn't trying for ranged at all. I really think I did better against him the first time when I wasn't trying for ranged at all. It is not inconceivable that we'll have a whole video of failing against this guy. I hope it doesn't happen. It is not inconceivable. Nothing else. It'll be annoying to me because of all the summoner scandals I'll feel like I wasted. You have to go back and find... It's not that easy to go back and find more of those. Like, I know a specific mission that I can, like, grind for more of them, but... What? I was evading! What am I supposed to do against that attack if evade roll doesn't work? Fuck me! Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna stop using the damn, um... Summoner's Candle every time. Because that's just gonna turn into a waste of... A waste of time. That was frustrating. I... Really didn't get started there. Maybe I need to switch so that my Amio magic casts faster. Uh, and it doesn't take me as long to put Sloth on him, but, um... I think I got Sloth off on him. meant to do against that attack. I'm doing an evade roll, I still get caught. I mean, yeah, I, I could see that I was within the arc of it, and it would make sense physically that he would grab you, but I thought that's kind of what the evade roll did. It ignored physics and gave you an out. Apparently not. Alright, well, it's the first boss of the DLC, which at one point I had been spooked by reading on the interwebs into thinking I wouldn't be able to even handle without beating the game a second time to level up. So, I suppose it's natural that I'm having some trouble. Come on, game. Start here. I was evade. I was fucking slamming the evade roll button, and I was trapped in the I got damaged by the first hit animation. I'm not pulling guns on people that I don't mean to pull guns on. I was playing Red Dead Redemption earlier today. I'm struggling against this guy even with this, when he's got the Sloth Talisman on. Suzugane, I uh, admire your devotion to your brother, but I don't know if this is a good look for you right now.
let's just hope this works because I've really wasted my uh You game! I was hitting the strong attack button for the first time ever because he was stun locked. And what did I do? One quick poke and nothing. And now I lost my freaking. Uh, I lost my ultimate weapon now because my living weapon because I used it and got him like 90% dead. Damn it. That was my best, uh, best shot I've had. Fire Shuriken, by the way, doing nothing for me at this point. Not at all uh, impressed by them. Maybe trying it out for the first time ever against a really high-end boss wasn't a good way to show off how effective it can be. Fuck you. I was evading. little forehead combo. I don't know what the hell you do with that. This is reminding me of fighting the first, like the first boss in the game. I didn't have any of the evade roll stuff down and it just seemed like you needed to get in and get out. That if you were anywhere near him, you were going to die. Thought I'd gotten better at the game. Apparently not. Alright. Well. I don't see myself playing through this level multiple times to beat the boss for, uh, Titles, but who knows? Maybe when I maybe I'll figure out the trick and he'll be the easiest boss ever. Okay. Part of the trick is that fucking sloth talisman doesn't always work when you want it to. Sometimes you just gotta spaz the fuck out. Well, I was just at, wasn't I just after saying maybe I'll figure out the trick and it'll be easy. Oh, you know what? Let me finish exploring this chamber here. Because I'm pretty sure I'm out of danger. Let's see if there's any cool shit in these uh, boxes. There's a death pit in them. That would not be fun. Okay, there's nothing cool in the boxes. Could you maybe explain why uh, the Date clan thinks it's a good idea to literally start transforming into demons? Alright, well, the timing's pretty good. There's about 12 minutes left, which is probably enough for all the story stuff, and then call it a video. Yeah, I know. Me, me neither, actually. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm going to talk to you now. Well, I guess I won't. I'm going to get possessed by a demonic uh, centipede as part of Spirit Division. So is he dead now? or I'm never clear on that when these spirits possess us. Well, I just knew the taste of centipedes. Okay. Okay. I don't really know that much about Hintora Bash. I don't know that much about the Date. I've been thinking about playing as them in Nobunaga's Ambition, but... Oh, you're trying to get rid of your human soul? Well, I can help you with that. I don't know if he's a cousin or brother to Mats Masamune, but he would appear to be willing to surrender his humanity to help Masamune with whatever the fuck his plan is. Anyway, I'm a scary uh, centipede, so. Hey, Hattoriganzo! Hey, hey, uh, I'm not dead. Then again, you didn't think I was, so. Well, at least this immediate stretch of land right here. Ooh. 
I thought you called me Anjin when you're speaking Japanese. Do you believe everything you hear? Or that you tell others. Thank you for buying the uh, DLC. I want to go check in on uh, your love interest who should be part of this but isn't. Yeah, why didn't she come and help you, by the way? Or maybe she died. Yeah, I probably, probably should have asked about that. She might have gotten killed trying to help you or something. Or then again, maybe she and her father have made up. Who knows? Possessed by Bisha's Centipede by a Spear Division. It seems like there's an awful lot of... Uh, I've lost a word. Con not conjunctions. Uh, by and via. Well, whatever. Prepositions. <laughs> Suddenly I don't remember how grammar works. Or at least what the terms are called. Oh, never mind. I guess there isn't enough uh, to fill out a video here. William, we can celebrate our being reunited later. Also, the fact that I lied and told everyone you were murdered. Well, I've got a book of reincarnation. I actually need summoner's candles. I got one. Red Kappa Shell. Feels like I should have gotten more than one of those, but whatever. There are more pressing matters at hand. After becoming yokai, the Kurohabaki have gathered at Aoba Castle, where Tate Masumura holds court, along with an unknown amount of spirit stones from Tono. I fear the Date household plans to launch a rebellion against Gordi Yasu. We must act now to stop it. For you, you go on ahead. Oh, for now, you go on ahead. I will catch up with you later. I cannot leave Shinik Shi. Take two. Cannot leave Shigazane as he is. This method of using spirit stones to transform humans into yokai is just like what happened with Kelly, but with Shigazane and the Kurohabaki, will it even be possible? Well, apparently it will be. Twilight Mission, the Murky Demon Realm unlocked. We got Submission, the Wandering Child on the same map. The Kadama around here are calling for your help. It seems one of their number has been taken prisoner by local outlaws. I don't know what a band of thugs could possibly want with a Kadama, but my guess is that one of them has a strong connection with the spirit world. With the eager forces gone, these brigands think they can just do as they please. They've even turned the village of Tono into their stronghold. If you recognize the name, then it's because that's where Hanzo was held captive. So, Anjin, shall we help the little critters out? But there's no Kadama to rescue! No, oh, whatever. Disturbance in the north. Or disturbances. Long time no see, Engine. You ignored my previous mission request, so now I feel confident you will take on this one. How do you fare? I must tell you. There are strange happenings in Oshu that were we Anmyo mages could not sit back and ignore. Yeah, I, I traveled back from the other side of the world, but just jumped right into a request, why don't you? Along with Master Hattori Hanzo. A group of us went to investigate, but a vortex of energy appeared at the entrance to the underworld, almost as if in response to us. I know you must be weary after your long voyage, but please, Sir Anjan, would you investigate this for me? Well, you know, Fuku, you are, uh... Ooh, I wish you were my love interest instead of that, uh, little sour-faced girl, but yeah, whatever. I'll get a Kamu Wind the first time I complete that. Whatever. Really kind of underwhelmed by the fire kunai, but I'm hoping they're better against regular enemies. Uh, I was talking about also earlier about changing uh, away from poison, but poison just so much more useful in a regular mission where you can like poison a regular enemy and run. Bosses are so aggressive. You're not going to really outlast one in a fight. You got to go in there and do like I finally did when I beat Shigazane and just like attack. Um, Gilded Deception. I see you have returned to Japan, Sir Anjin. I shall be forever grateful that you have come to my aid, even though you ignored my last request as much as you did Fuku's. You see, a great evil seeds around Shusan Temple in Hiraizumi. I must ask you to go to the cemetery there and uproot this malignant force. For many moons, no human has set foot upon these grounds, and the place is said to have fallen into ruin. I fe fear foul creatures may dwell there now, no doubt drawn towards this unholy corruption. So what do you say, Sir Anjin? Will you lend me your strength? Um, nothing that exciting to be gained by this. Although certainly, if one of these missions turns out to be fat, like this one, if it turns out to be a really fast mission, 
Significantly better uh, Amarita rewards. It's a quarter of a million Amarita. If I figure out that this is one that you can run really fast, it'll be pretty darn good. And then the main mission is the One-Eyed Dragon's Castle. An extraordinary key ebbs and flows about Oyoba Castle. It seems to be somehow related to the rebellion Hanzo spoke of. If a war is to be had that uses spirit stones, then we must put a stop to it. But for a man only just rescued, Hanzo was more than a little impatient when he asked us to hurry. He seemed to have forgotten the proverb that haste makes waste. Or that old Klingon proverb that revenge is, revenge is a dish best served cold. So amongst other things I'm thinking about for next time, at some point we got to hop into the abyss, see what this is about. It's a special mission where you just uh, proceed deep into Yokai Realm. Um, I think you may get periodic efforts to jump out, but it is like an infinite dungeon kind of mission. You just keep fighting Yokai till you can't fight them anymore, and you get better and better gains as you go deeper and deeper in. It has a highest floor completed gauge, for example. An ominous cavern. Oh, this is like the one of the easiest of the Twilight missions. But, um... It would also be probably a really good idea to replenish. Our supply of Summoner's Candles. And I've got over a hundred of them, so I probably don't really need to worry about grinding for more. But anyway, uh, is there anything here where I don't have the maximum number? Well, on Hobbited Kodama Bowls, but that's just because I just, period, don't have the maximum number. I guess I use the thing because of the Shinobi Box. I guess out of, in the vain hope that I would beat that boss on the first try, I used the Shinobi Box. But if there's nothing else where I'm not maxed, and I could, and I had any realistic chance of getting maxed, I should, um, yeah, and again, I've got 55 to spare. It's not that big of a deal. All right. Well, I wonder if there's anything going on in the hidden tea house. I probably need to donate a bunch of items. I doubt I can trans. I doubt I can per. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to purchase. I doubt I can buy a transformation into, yeah, Shigazane, because the only time we see him is in fucked up yokai form. We don't have a normal model of him that we can just use. Um, but I am trying to save Glory because I believe there's a female boss uh, in one of the DLCs, which we almost certainly get a transformation into, and they're super expensive. There will be other characters, like, you know, obviously Masamune is going to pop up. Uh, most likely uh, in one of the Osaka DLCs, I'm sure. Um, if we don't get... Um, what's his name? Uh, I know we'll have Yuki Murasana at some point. We may get his brother, Nobuyuki? I don't remember his brother's name. I think it might be Nobuyuki. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a few more transformations that are probably DLC-only transformations, I expect. So I, I do want to get some glory. Power and glory. But uh, I also think it's time to call it a video. And even though I wouldn't mind playing some more, this is a really logical point to end um, my session. So I'm going to do that. When we come back, I think I'm going to just uh, do side missions that don't appear to just be you're going to fight two bosses. You know, in fairness, uh, it would have taken a Red Dead Redemption 2 character one one hundredth the time to bitch that I hadn't done anything, and I had been staring at him for a while. Anyway, folks, when we come back next time, I'm probably just going to do more regular old missions. Uh, maybe not a story mission, maybe a side mission, but we'll be doing missions. Probably not fighting bosses. See you then.